Moving is both equally exciting and stressful, but for many people moving in and around Great Falls, the stress is beginning to outweigh the excitement. There's a need for housing, for sure. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter what level we're at. As the need continues to grow, landlords are not slowing down in their efforts to fix the housing problem. Uh, we've always been looking for an opportunity to incorporate some meaningful projects. With the need that Great Falls has for housing and unique housing opportunities, uh, this project just developed to kind of fill both of those voids. In 2019, finding a place to rent or buy wasn't nearly as difficult as it is now. Why? People, you know, coming out of COVID really kind of increased our market a little bit because of the lack of inventory. It also doesn't help that Montana is such a sought after location. We have a beautiful state we live in, and so we're seeing a little bit more of an influx of people than an outflux. <laughs> and so for specifically Great Falls, I think that's where a lot of that uh, struggle is coming for, that increase in the market is um, a lot of buyers, not a lot of sellers. For anyone who has been looking for a place to live, it shouldn't come as a surprise that both renting and buying options are running out. Almost instantly. Like, as soon as people see that there's new places to rent, it our phones are ringing, our emails are going off. If we put a rental up, we know that we'll have 20 to 50 applications. It's crazy. And just like that, supply and demand is raising the prices right back up. So much so that even government assistance are falling short. And the highest amount that we can do under the federal program um, is not enough to cover what the market rent is in those areas. Prices are rising and buyers and renters are struggling. Thankfully, Montana leaders have recognized the problem and are working towards a solution. I think we're talking increasingly at the state and with developers and partners about how do we need to um, increase the amount of funds that we're putting toward building new affordable homes or rehabbing older housing stock so it's of good quality to Montanans throughout the state. Housing is tight everywhere, but leaders are working and doing their best to find a way to resolve the solution. In Great Falls, Lindsay Stinger, MTN News.